Ibinabo Fiberesima says entertainers care less about uh, their health. Okay. Mm. Yes, uh, fitness and wellness. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she broke it down. I mm. wish you could just read out what she said and just move on. Like, she explained her stand. Mm -hmm. She's not just, she knows what she's talking about, mm. of how mm -hmm. this is not just about um, the entertainment industry. Of course, it's, she's talking to them, but mm -hmm. this is general. It like, should apply we, to everyone. We don't take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. We don't go for checkups. Exactly. We, you see people who even do work, um, the kind of job that is more strenuous mm. than, I mean, everyone is working, but you know there are jobs that yeah. are just yeah. not that easy on the body, and mm -hmm. they don't care. Like mm -hmm. like she said, you wake up, you go party all night, you, then they call you for a gig, mm -hmm. you rush to the set, you're eating everything you're seeing there, you don't even mm. know what mm -hmm. this food, how mm -hmm. it is made, or think about the kind of nutrients that should be in what you want to take, mm -hmm. right? So. We need to do better as human beings. Yeah. We okay. need to take our health um, All right. um, more seriously. Oshinkaya, do you can you um, relate or identify with some of the things that she said? Yeah, of course. I think it's um, relatable to everyone because at the end of the day, if you work so hard, you know that you really do not have a lot of time to take care of yourself, which is what she's actually advocating for that. You need to take time out, no matter what you do. Because if you're talking about entertainers, we all know about the lifestyle of entertainers. Most of them are into substance abuse, drinking a lot of alcohol, partying all night. Not necessarily because they want to party. Now, I'm talking from my own standpoint. Mm -hmm. I need to go to a lot of places because mm -hmm. I need to make that connection. I need to meet certain people. And I yeah. know if I need to meet certain people, this is where I have to go to. That's why I asked so you. I spend a lot of sleepless <laughs> nights and I still come on this set and I still act like, Way yeah, yeah, it's all good. But it doesn't mean I shouldn't look after my health because I remember like yeah. a week ago when I was um, coming down with malaria, mm -hmm. my MD was like, you need to pack your stuff and leave here right now. Like, it wasn't even joking. It mm -hmm. was on me. That is, yeah. take care of yourself. That's the most important thing. Because if you do not take care of yourself, are you going to do put in that hard work? Mm -hmm. if, you, if you're not in good health, are you going to put in that hard work? Mm -hmm. So you have to take care of yourself. Take care of your body, mind, soul, and spirit. Okay. And be more religious. Come closer to God. Mm -hmm. He heals you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Elsie? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh my. Um, yeah, okay. I'm just going to go off what she said because I don't know what to say to that. Um, yeah, it's, I don't always think that entertainers are like tied to the lifestyle. I still think everybody has a choice. You can go to those parties and not drink. You can have a glass of water. You can have Sprites. There's a lot of options, you know. So you think it's pressure, peer pressure I don't or know social what it is. pressure? Sorry, can, it's I choice, can I cut yeah, in? Can I cut in real quick? When I say you have sleepless nights, you have to go to certain places at night, it's not necessarily for you to go and drink for you to go and involve in substance abuse is because you know that is the proper place for networking. So you have sleepless nights. Deprivation of sleep But that's not alone. what Ibn Abu is talking no, about. No, I think she's talking on. about people who do it for leisure, not for yeah. work purposes. What? For leisure, not yeah, people. Yeah, but I'm also, that's, you You're know doing me. You're doing most of the You know me. From from, yeah. You know me. Yeah. I always look at it from all angles. angles. The mm -hmm. fact that you are saying that mm -hmm. these entertainers go all out, they who do this. Who looks at it from more angles? All angles? Who does that? <laughs> who, do, who does that? Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 well, maybe we should let you feel my conclusion. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I'm, I agree. I agree to what she said. I think okay. another emphasis, apart from the checking up one, like if I has mentioned, it wouldn't be the lifestyle choices to begin with. Mm. I mean, it's a global problem where entertainers are solely attached to drug abuse mm -hmm. from the so-called uh, networking. There's so many ways you can kill a chicken, like they mm -hmm. say. You don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I like, I loved how she wrote it up, but I think maybe also being politically correct, she wouldn't have said that. But I even think I would even make more emphasis on the fact that as entertainers, mm -hmm. as influencers and role, uh, role models or whatever name you want to call yourself, public, fi public figures, mm -hmm. even shining more light to, the, to this um, distances Mm -hmm. of using the substances. You can mm -hmm. leisure, you can network. Business people network. Like mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be 
in that setting, in that manner, mm -hmm. in, 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 okay. and that consuming. And the, the, oh, right. Now, this is where right. I'm going to come in by saying all angles. Now, you're talking about business people. You're talking about CEOs. You're mm -hmm. talking about entrepreneurs. Now, I'm talking about somebody in the entertainment industry, such as me, as a presenter. Now, if I need to meet celebrities that I want on you my can't go show... To their house. Oh, mm -hmm. really? All so right, everybody guys. will be All right. Oh, All right. Oh, oh, really? I Come want on, to quickly man. say, before we move on to our next story, um, I like the fact that she's talked about it, and I'm... I met her like some years back, and even at that time, I had I had attended one of their meetings. It was she was the president of AGN at the time, and she was really going on about health, and she mm. made sure that everybody had like a mental insurer, uh, mental health plan. Health plan. Thank yeah, you very she much. That too. Yes, mm. and, and then, she also said malaria and typhoid is not the only, only thing mm -hmm. you should yeah. be concerned about. Mm -hmm. And then also mm. in the article, they were men they mentioned like that apparently fifteen people in um, the entertainment industry have lost their lives this to date year. This, this year. year. So. Mm -hmm. It's commendable that she's bringing this up. I also up. like how she, you could see that she's not just, she, she's the best person to um, talk about this. I mean, you, she's not pretending or just making That's noise. what I was trying to go back. hundred days Sorry. into her, into her, her uh, thing, presidency as AGN. And she's already set up the That's, that's what I was HMO. trying to say. That, that That's the point I was trying to make that, you know, right from the get-go, mm. she has always been advocating for good health. Yeah. So now that she's coming out to say this, I strongly believe her and I don't think she's saying yeah. it for clout or for, yeah. um, to stay relevant or yeah. for any kind of publicity. Well, just to drive my point home where I was getting to with all of that before I got interrupted was that everybody look after yourself no matter your line of work mm -hmm. no matter the amount of time you need to spend networking mm -hmm. regardless of what field you're in okay. I'm not all even right. talking about substance abuse or alcohol abuse I'm talking about the privation of sleep, sleep. alone mm -hmm. is enough no. to get your all right all right. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. So Let's watch leave it that. There. Yes, yeah. that's very good. A wonderful way to end that uh, topic.